Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If your PC is running slow, infected with malware, or you just want a fresh start, resetting your Windows to factory settings can be a lifesaver. But what if you don't have an installation disk or USB drive? No worries. In today's video, I'll show you how to reset your Windows PC to factory settings without needing any extra tools. Before we dive in, let me explain what a factory reset does. A factory reset restores your Windows operating system to its default state, removing all apps, settings, and personal data. It's like starting with a brand new computer. Why resetting is useful. First, it's an effective solution for performance issues. If your computer feels sluggish or unresponsive, resetting can eliminate software bloat. Second, it helps resolve system errors or crashes caused by conflicting apps or updates. And finally, it's essential if you're selling or giving away your PC, as it removes all your personal data. So, resetting can be both a troubleshooting tool and a security measure. Next, let's talk about something critical, backing up your data. Resetting your PC will delete apps and settings, and depending on the option you choose, it could also erase all personal files. To avoid losing important data, take the following steps. For physical backups, connect an external hard drive and copy your important files, like documents, photos, and videos. Alternatively, use cloud storage solutions like Google Drive, OneDrive, or Dropbox. Double check that you've saved everything you need before moving on. Trust me, you don't want to skip this step. Now, let's get into the actual process. We're going to access the reset options built into Windows. First, click on the Start menu and select Settings. In the Settings window, go to Update and Security. From there, click on Recovery. Under the Reset This PC section, click on Get Started. It's that simple to access the reset feature. Once you click Get Started, Windows will give you two main options. The first is Keep My Files. This resets your PC but keeps your personal files, like documents and photos. However, apps and settings will be removed. The second option is Remove Everything, which completely wipes your PC, including your personal files. This is ideal if you're preparing the computer for resale or want a completely fresh start. For this tutorial, I'll choose the second option, Remove Everything. Next, Windows will ask you how you'd like to reinstall the operating system. Cloud Download. This downloads a fresh copy of Windows from the internet. It's perfect if your system files are corrupted, but it does require a stable internet connection. Local reinstall. This uses files already on your PC to reset the system. It's faster and works offline, but it won't fix corrupt system files. I recommend using cloud download for a cleaner reset. After you've chosen the reset type, Windows will show a summary of the reset process. Here you'll see an option to change settings. This allows you to fine-tune the reset process. Let me walk you through the available options. Clean data. By default, Windows will just remove your files. If you toggle this option on, it will clean your data more thoroughly, making it almost impossible to recover. This is highly recommended if you're giving your PC away or selling it. Delete files from all drives. By default, Windows will only reset the drive where the operating system is installed usually the C drive. If you toggle this option on, Windows will delete files from all connected drives. This is useful if you want to wipe everything, including secondary drives. Download Windows. If enabled, this option downloads a fresh copy of Windows from Microsoft servers during the reset process. This ensures a completely clean installation, free of any corrupted or outdated system files. However, it requires an active internet connection and may take additional time depending on your connection speed. If you're short on time, you can adjust the reset options to make the process faster. Skip cleaning data. Instead of enabling clean data, you can leave it off. This will simply delete your files without securely overriding them. It's quicker, but keep in mind that some data might still be recoverable with special tools. Reset only the system drive. If your PC has multiple drives, choose to reset only the system drive, usually the C drive. This skips wiping other drives and saves time. 
Skip downloading Windows. If you don't have a stable or fast internet connection, use the local reinstall option instead of download Windows. This reinstalls Windows from files already on your PC, which is much faster. These options are great for a quick reset if you're in a hurry or don't need a thorough wipe. Just remember, the results might not be as clean or secure as the more detailed reset. Carefully review these settings and adjust them according to your needs. Once done, click Confirm to proceed. To this is where you'll get a summary of the reset configuration, including which drives will be affected. This includes your system drive C and any other connected internal or external drives that you selected earlier. A reminder that all files, apps, and settings on these drives will be permanently deleted. This step is critical to double check. If you realize you've included a drive that you didn't mean to, this is your chance to go back and make adjustments. If everything looks correct, click Next to proceed. Once you've reviewed the list of affected drives and confirmed your settings, Windows will show you one last summary screen. Double check everything. This is your last chance to back out or change your options. When you're ready, click Reset to start the process. Windows will take over from here, restarting your PC and beginning the reset process. Depending on the size of the drives and the options you selected, this could take some time. So, sit back and let Windows do its thing. So we've just covered how to reset your PC through the settings menu. It's quick, it's easy, and it works great. But what if your PC isn't cooperating? Maybe it won't boot up properly, or the settings menu just won't open. Don't panic. This is where the restart and recover method comes to the rescue. Think of it like a secret passageway into your PC's reset options. A way to access the tools you need, even if everything else seems out of reach. Let me walk you through it step by step. To start, click the Start menu on your desktop. From there, click the Power icon. Now, here's the key part. Press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard. While holding the Shift key, click Restart. Your PC will begin to restart, but instead of booting into Windows as usual, it will take you to the Advanced Startup Options screen. Once the Advanced Startup Options screen appears, you'll see a few options. Here's what you need to do. Click on Troubleshoot. This is the option you'll use to access tools for fixing your PC. In the Troubleshoot menu, select Reset this PC. This will take you to the same reset menu we discussed earlier, where you can decide how you want to reset your system. From here, the steps are very similar to the earlier method. Next, you'll see two options. Keep my files. This keeps your personal files like documents and photos, but removes apps and reset system settings. Remove everything. This completely wipes your PC, removing all your files, apps, and settings. I'm choosing Remove Everything to show you how to perform a full reset. Once you've selected Remove Everything, Windows will ask how you'd like to reinstall the operating system. You'll have two options here. Cloud Download. This option will download the latest version of Windows from Microsoft servers, ensuring you get the most up-to-date files. It's great if you want the newest version or if your local system files are corrupted. Local reinstall. This will reinstall Windows using the files already stored on your PC. It's quicker, but it may not install the latest version if you haven't updated your system recently. For this example, I'm going to choose Cloud Download. This option is perfect if you want to make sure everything is fresh and up-to-date. Plus, it'll get the latest system updates and fixes, so you're starting off with the best possible version of Windows. After selecting Cloud Download, you'll see two choices. Only the drive where Windows is installed. This option will only reset the drive where Windows is installed, usually the C drive. It's faster and keeps other drives untouched, which is great if you have personal files stored on other drives and want to keep them. All drives. This option wipes every drive connected to your PC, including external drives and secondary internal drives. Choose this if you want to completely clean your entire system, especially if you're selling or donating the PC. For this demonstration, I'll choose all drives to show you how to perform a complete system reset. This option is ideal if you're planning to sell, 
donate, or recycle your PC and want to ensure no personal data is left behind. Now that we've selected all drives, the next decision you'll need to make is how thoroughly you want to clean the drives. You have two options here. Just remove my files. This option is faster but less secure. It removes your files from the system, but there's a chance that some data could still be recovered with specialized software. If you're keeping the PC and just want a quick reset, this is a fine choice. Remove files and clean the drive. This is the more secure option. It not only removes your files, but also wipes the drive to make it much harder for anyone to recover anything. This option is ideal if you're selling, donating, or recycling your PC. It takes longer, but it ensures your personal data is gone for good. Once you've selected your preferred cleaning option, Windows will show you a summary of your choices. Review everything carefully because this is the final step before the reset starts. If everything looks good, click Reset to begin. Your PC will now restart and begin the reset process. This step might take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour, depending on your computer's speed. During the process, your system will reboot several times. Just sit tight and let Windows do its thing. Once the reset is complete, your PC will reboot and display the Windows setup screen. Here's what you'll need to do. Select your region and keyboard layout. Sign in with your Microsoft account or create a local account. Customize your settings, like privacy preferences and automatic updates. After completing these steps, your PC will be up and running like new. If you backed up your data earlier, now's the time to restore it. For external backups, reconnect your hard drive and copy your files back to their original locations. For cloud backups, simply log into your cloud storage account and download your files. Once your files are restored, your PC will feel like home again. And that's it. You've successfully reset your Windows PC to factory settings without needing an installation disk or USB. To keep your PC running smoothly in the future, remember these tips. Install only the apps you need. Keep your system updated. Use reliable antivirus software for protection. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.